Good morning guys, I just got home from the gym. I did notice that I got really bad brush on my legs and I don't know where it comes from. It might be because I tried to use a new shampoo or a new body gel but it haven't happened before. I use the same products that I usually use. <laughs> But suddenly I start getting a lot of rash on my legs. It looks very bad and I don't know if I want to show you guys this. I have already booked an appointment and I am so like nervous about it. I think it might be like stress rashes or winter rashes, something like that. I don't really know but I am really stressed right now and it usually comes every year. It have always come every year but Last year and three years before that, I didn't notice anything. I didn't got any rashes. I didn't got any like things that is itchy on my body. And now I suddenly get it again. We are going to do a lot today. We are going to apply for new jobs. I will also eat early lunch slash dinner before going to work today because I start at 5 p.m. Which means that I have six hours to do whatever I have to do but first let's hop into the shower and then I will tell you guys more about this while getting ready the shampoo I usually use is this one I don't know if you can see it clearly but this is my favorite, it smells so good as well. It actually makes my hair very moist. I just got out from the shower. I did mention to you guys that I want to apply for oh apply for another job. Trust me, I really really love the job that I have right now, but I want to do something that I have bachelor degree on. I mean, everyone wants that. Yesterday when my husband told me that he got an offer from a job that he had been studying and that he are going to have a master degree on. I was so happy for him and I really look forward until that day comes. But I looked in my own situation and I really want to find something that is related to my bachelor degree. It's very hard to get a job here when you don't have any experience or you just graduated. Some companies do offer intern. By the way, look how gross my face is even though I just took a shower. Use toner again to make sure that all the dirt from my face is gone. I want a job related to my study. Now that I'm studying graphic design, I want to like go into marketing company first so I can combine those two even though many marketing agencies and marketing companies do want people that knows a little bit about graphic design and the Adobe pack and I feel like I have it. There is something about using it in a real job compares to a task that your teachers are giving you. I don't have fully experience with that and I'm still learning. I haven't been active like searching for a job after I told you guys that I don't know what my work situation is going to be when I was in Trondheim. And I must be honest with you, I have tried pursuing my dreams. I have tried searching on whatever have comes up and still I, I also got an offer north and I haven't heard from them. Good 
let's make some coffee before we sit down and start applying for job and also guys I must ask you something um, please comment down below if you want a longer videos like about 20 to 30 minutes yeah just comment down below what you prefer because I am really struggling right now I don't know if you want me to talk a lot I don't know if you want me to have like one-on-one -on -one moment I don't know if you want to see more of the view I don't really know what you want so please tell me in the comment section down below what you want me to record what you want me to talk about what you want me to yeah if you want longer vlogs shorter vlogs um yeah do you want to see more of cooking do you want to see more of fashion beauty skincare daily life i have already asked you guys but i feel like there are not like specific question If you sometimes wonder why the light is so not light or is too bright and comes like rainbow stuff through the camera, it is because of this. I got only two windows in my apartment because I live in like a basement apartment. It was so hard to find an apartment when moving here. So this is like a temporary situation just so you know. I have to deal with it that's why i like to go out almost every day to get sunlight and to breathe some air whenever i open this window there comes insect inside and i hate insects <laughs> I spent two hours writing resume so now I decided to eat lunch slash my dinner for today I will work at 5 p.m. and it takes around one hour to get to work so I will be working for like four hours which means that I will be home at 10 or 11 p.m. which also means that I won't eat anything i might not be eating anything but for now i need something in my stomach it's currently 12 pm and i need to leave in about three hours i don't want to stress it anything as you can see i haven't done my hair i haven't done my makeup so i am very tired right now and for today's lunch don't judge me i haven't eaten for a while i am going to eat some noodles with boiled egg and cheese so I get proteins in my system I think I told you guys that earlier I don't remember my mind is just blurry right now
Okay, here comes the fun part. You get an egg slicer. I'm putting this under just in case. And then. Basically in almost every videos that I upload lately, I have been watching friends while eating. So I will eat my noodle with egg and cheese and I'm going to watch friends. It's almost 2 p.m. and I thought maybe I should just get ready. My favorite eyeliner, this is from MAC. I don't know if you have heard of it. I think that's it for my makeup and my hair. And now it's time to go back and relax. Let my hair dry a little bit. I don't know if I have told you guys this before, but usually I don't curl my like everything on my hair. I just do it in front so it forms to my face. It's very practical if you are lazy or don't want to use a lot of hair rollers. I do have like curling warm air brush that literally give you blowout, but I don't want to use it today because it's so time consuming. So We are currently in my bedroom and I need to get dressed because I need to leave the apartment very soon. Today since I got my period I need to wear something dark or just in case I bleed through. If you're a girl, always bring your pads with you in your bags because you will never know when your period is coming unless you have a period tracker like I have. This is my bag that I bought to myself for my birthday. I am going to pack my pads in here. I'm going to pack my bullet journal. I will start reading on this book. I bought this some weeks ago. I'm also going to bring my camera. For some reason I love kind of loose pants now. Usually I love looking around with skinny jeans because I got a lot of compliment wearing skinny jeans and maybe I should start with it again. I don't really know. But you guys, it's time to go. And of course, I will try to bring you guys with me, but today I will go in to train another new girl that has started. So I don't want to look weird. Guys, I don't know if you can see me right now because it's so dark outside, but my metro just left. It's 
freezing cold outside and I need to wait for 10 more minutes and it's totally fine, it's fine, I am okay. I will probably just call my husband so I can have someone to talk to. As you can see, it's very scary here. There are people here but there are like gangs so I don't want it to be... I don't want any trouble. Okay guys, when I got home my husband told me that he had been hurting for the past couple of days and now I'm starting to get concerned and told him maybe he should go and see a doctor but his doctor is not available until in about two weeks maybe we need to do something Hello to Legevakta Jeg kan peie for taxi Hallo, du kan ikke leve sånn Nå om du skal da Det er nok sånn plantarfasitt sånn helsmerter under siden av elven Helsmerten kan føles som skarpe knivstikk på undersiden av foten Den er ofte vers når du står opp av sengen om morgenen og når du reiser deg etter at du har sittet en stund etter Ok, da kan du ikke løpe, du får ikke lov å løpe Tror du jeg klarer å løpe, eller? Ja! Så ja, legevakta da! Hallo, du kan ikke vente to uker og være handikappet Du kan ikke ligge i senga i to uker